Science in Vedas. We are going through certain chemical uh, science, science subjects in chemistry that comes under chemistry. This is second part. Now today we are thinking about the importance of heat energy. Before that, we should remember one thing. There are four Vedas. Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Samar Veda. These three are science subjects. This is science. And Atharva Veda is technology, application. So, we are thinking about the science subject. Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Samar Veda. Not its application. For example, yesterday I told hydrogen and oxygen combined to form water. That is a science subject. But how it, water can be produced from hydrogen and oxygen, that is another question that comes under its application that comes in Atharva Veda. We are not going to the that subject now. We are going only through the science subject. What are the phenomena, principle behind it? all science procedures. That is what we are looking about. Now let us think about Akni or energy. Energy is one of the important thing as per Veda also and also as per modern science. Energy is required for any activity to be completed. Any activity can be done with the help of energy or acne. So here they are giving the importance of acne, how we can utilize it for our benefits. Let us see. In Rigvedam Mandal 10 168.4 Rishi Anilin says Gas is very important. It is invisible. But it can enter into any other substances. For, for example, air can enter into water. Air can enter into our cells. Everywhere it is in entering. There are solid, liquid and gas. Out of which gas is the one which can go inside any substance that is the quality of gas that is very essential for any other every action for example for burning acne is the energy source to get energy acne is to be produced for producing acne or burning air is required so air is an important factor so, in Rigveda Mandal 10, 11, 115 Sutta and in its 4, that means Rigveda in Mandal 10, 115 4. Rishi Upasthudan says, when Agni tries to burn something to carbon, or some other residue, air comes towards it because it can come anywhere. If uh, air is a solid thing which cannot move, then acne cannot, uh, we cannot burn any uh, subject. If we want to burn paper, it requires oxygen. If that is gas, if gas is in solid form, it cannot move from here to that burning site. But air is, the property of air is, it can easily go anywhere, wherever required it can go. It is entering in our lungs, it is going to the cell through blood. So, oxygen or gas possess that property. With the support of oxygen only or air, acne can burn. 
any substance like paper or anything there and convert it into carbon or some other residue or it will escape in the form of smoke so when acne tries to burn anything air comes to it that air come to that plane for helping to burn so it is a good friend of acne and yet that time acne takes three forms that heat take or acne fire takes three forms what are the three forms one is light when burning something we will get light energy heat energy and some residue or smoke in the form of smoke or residue it may be left in the burning site that powder carbon it is producing basma that powder that powder is escaping in the form of smoke so burning action is explained very clearly and it also explain the three things why something burns one is heat energy light energy and the third one is some residue due to the burning of this burning of charcoal it will uh, become car carbon or anything like that or powder or it will uh, disappear in the form of smoke then in rigveda mandal 6 5-6 Rishi Bharadwajan says in Rigveda Mantai 6 5-6 Rishi Bharadwajan says Akni completes its function if it takes any activity it will complete its that action within at the fastest rate in other words in modern science any endothermic reaction can require heat and heat complete that reaction or rate of reaction become faster when we supply heat in endothermic there are two types of reaction exothermic and endothermic if to for any reaction heat is required if we supply heat heat energy the rate of reaction will increase it will easily become product or the desired product for example if you want to cook food if you supply heat if you supply more heat it will burn quickly it will become easily uh, converted to food if we heat slowly it will be slow uh, the action will take place slowly it will become food slowly but if we give more of uh, heat the rate of reaction will taking place in that food materials will become faster and we will get a product means very quickly so rate of reaction increases with the help of this heat in which case if it takes that reaction that means there are two types of reaction one is exothermic one is endothermic if it is endothermic it take up that reaction action and complete that action faster or rate of reaction becomes faster if acne is capable to do that if acne takes that operation that means if it is an endothermic reaction if it is an exothermic reaction rate of reaction will decrease here it is saying increasing the rate of reaction where acne can do that so acne complete that action easily and faster quicker if it take up that action that is what a rigveda mandala 6 says 
in yajurveda 1225 rishi vaisapri says we depends on agni for performing different types of activities we are depending on energy or agni for different types of day to day activities for cooking if we want to move the hand in this the way we require food food reaches our muscle and then it burns and that agni is moving help to contracting or expanding our muscles and by which we can move we are speaking by moving our tongue for that the food we take and so far goes to that site and there it burns and by which some contraction or expansion or anything like that muscle action take place by which we can talk so in every action in every wherever there is some activity taken place there we require energy so it has a great important role in in our walks of life by which we will get every types of benefits and prosperity that is what it says this yajurveda 1225 we get any type of prosperity by which with the help of this agni we are doing different activity for our benefits and agni is the important thing which helps us in these activities then in yajurveda 293 rishi bahad to vamadeva says the creator knows he can produce different types of active uh, substances with the support of agni this creator of this universe know different types of substances can be produced with the type of help of agni because all substances in this universe or this universe itself is created with the support of this agni with the, the support of this heat energy or heat then in the same yajurveda 1225 rishi valsapri says it gives us clouds agni gives us clouds how clouds are formed agni is responsible for it to produce that clouds how there are different ways there are different steps one ayurveda 1019 rishi vama deva deva vada says with the heat from the sun water molecules enter into the atmosphere from where from this river or sea water in the earth undergoes evaporation due to the sun and this water molecules goes to the atmosphere that is due to evaporation of this liquid water that a water molecules reaches the sky then in rigveda mandalam 6 26 Rishi Bhairandojan says, the smoke of Akni goes to the sky and it resulted into the formation of cloud. 
that means water molecule sticks to this dust particles or the smoke particles and forms cloud in the sky so water evaporates and there are particles there the burning uh, at the time of burning smoke is going upwards and this water particle may stick on that particle motor molecule may stick on that evaporated motor molecule may stick on that particle and form the cloud then what happens yajurveda 1019 rishi devavada the same sukta says this this cloud while traveling sticks to the hill mountain when it touches the mountain it becomes rain and flows in the form of river so when these clouds dust particle and uh, water molecules touches the mountain it converts into water or rain and that water flow through the mountain in the form of river they flow through ganga or emra or like that it flow from the start from the and flows through the ground so it explain how rain is formed these are we are these are things we are studying in the schools up to 10th standard before we uh, in 7th or 8th we are studying how water uh, how rain is produced water evaporates from the sea and uh, forms the cloud and touches the mountain and rain is falling on that way that is the principle behind it that is we study in the high school level but we now we know such things are already the in the vedas now in yajurveda 1521 rishi parameshti says with the support of agni we will get energy and with this you say we can make different hundreds of other materials with the support of agni we can convert the material we have obtained from the earth and it can be converted to many useful things for example we are getting rice vegetable etc with the support of uh, agni we can cook food different types of uh, food we are uh, making bricks using the support of agni clay the mixing it with the water and uh, heating in the furnace or we can clay uh, produce bricks or so using the materials available in the universe man can utilize that materials with this and with the support of heat or energy we can convert it into many useful things we are producing different types of medicines so all types of things even chips are making in the same way silicon silicon dioxide is the it is converted in into in the form of chip with the support of energy without energy we cannot go further for every action for any activity we require energy so we depend on agni then 
putting some vegetables different types of vegetable in it and water and chili powder everything like that to prepare it cook in a curry we are taking that mixture of all such items in a pot and we will supply heat then there comes another factor called indra Indra is a technical subject, a technical science subject. Then Indra, with the help of Akni, convert these vegetables into a curry. Then who is Indra? There is a phenomenon there. What is the activity of Indra? Indra is dividing these materials into smaller things and changes its internal structure and convert it into a form of curry. Or if you put water and rice in a pressure cooker and supply heat, Indra inside that pressure cooker First, break up these materials into different smaller molecules and then it is combined with other different compounds and prepares the, take uh, it into a soft food, converts into a soft food. So, Akni and Indra, what is Indra doing? That is in the earlier, in a Dronakasa, division of destruction of this supplied material is taking place in the pot. For example, if we want to prepare high water from hydrogen and oxygen molecules, we put hydrogen molecule and oxygen molecule in a suitable Dronakasa or pot. And if we supply energy, then Indra first cut this hydrogen molecule into hydrogen atom and oxygen into oxygen atom and then it combines hydrogen and oxygen atoms to form water molecule. If we eat some hard meat, Indra inside our body is converting this hard substance into soft digestive one with the support of enzyme or anything like that and with the support of energy and Indra is one phenomena which acts in every action uh, activity wherever it takes place Indra enters in that action and converts into required form what we require Yet another place, Veda says, Indra is the person who joins our wound. If you cut your uh, skin with a blade, uh, two or three days it is joining together. And Indra is the person who joins this. So there comes one another term, Indra. So in Veda, Indra and Akni are the two important phenomena we take up in every action and helps us to complete that action and gives the product. So in this Rikveda Mandala 5 86 6 Rishi Atri 
requires Indra to convert the Soma which is given to it to food to food and money he says convert this Soma we supply Soma means essence of every subject uh, things that means lady's finger tomato everything we are putting that uh, pure things that is somo somo means essence what are things we are giving that is somo inputs we can say it as inputs in a chemical reaction then supplying heat and this atri asks Akni and indra to take up the action to convert these inputs into product so we want to find out who is indra that we can see later it starts from creation indra comes from starts from creation so while explaining everything like that from brahmam to we can see what is Indra. What is the phenomenon of Indra? Then, for that Indra requires a sword. Hard sword. Made of Vajra. In Rigveda Mandalam 1, 84.30 Rishi Gautama says Indra got this Vajrayudha Vajra diamond Diamond is the hardest thing that is required for cutting all these things while we are eating hard uh, meals It is digesting in our body that that uh, material, long chain materials are first to break up into small for cutting that one. Vajra is required. It is an example. Vajra is the hardest substance. For doing any operation, harder substance is also hindrance that a uh, knife is made up of Vajra. And he got it from where? From the born of the deity this vajra is made from the deity's born that we can see later what we can uh, say now is our bone is very hard why it is so hard because its internal structure is very hard it is tightly fixed in diamond also, so diamond also process, this Vajra also possess a crystalline structure in which the atoms are fixed in a very systematic way. That is why it says in Rigveda Mandal 6. 1710 Riti Rishi Bharadvajan says this creator created this Vajra for Indra with a hundred types of knots and thousand cutting edges that means in diamond there are hundreds of knots that means it is tightly fixed in, a, in the form of a crystallized structure that we can crystallize structure we can see different types of crystallized structures are there that is clearly explained in modern science and also in Veda that we can see later so it forces a very good crystallized structure and it has hundred cutting edges that means diamond is a multi point cutter in engineering there are two types of cutters one is single point the other is multi point in the diamond there are 
small particles each particle is cutting so in the diamond there are uh, thousands of cutting edges on this so if this is an engineering subject so we can leave it so in this we have gone through a number of subjects so now we can stop here we can proceed next day